Welcome to Professor Dr. Grace's graphic class. Please watch the ad until the end so you can receive better contents. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the tabs panel to create menu and the calendar. If you look at the top left of your keyboard, you see the tab key. When you press the tab key, you can basically move it to a tab space, but you cannot move to the specific space that you want. However, with the tabs panel, we can set up the tabs to the exact position we want to move them to a specific space. Now, let's use the tabs panel to create a menu design for Japanese restaurant. Select the type tool, then click and drag the alt board to draw a text box. Press delete to delete the automatically generated text. From the control panel, select the font media pro, font style regular, and font size 24 point. In the text box, type taco $8.99 and press enter. At this time, you have to press the space bar only once between the menu and each price. Since we will use the tabs panel to adjust the space, you don't need more than one space between words. Highlight taco $8.99-$14.99. Press Ctrl C to copy, then press Ctrl V to paste. Press Enter to move to the next row. Then press Ctrl V four more times to make a total of six text rows. Highlight each from the second to the last text and change the contents for each menu. Type Kaso $9.99 Unagi Dollar twelve point ninety nine. Dollar twenty two point ninety nine. Toro. Dollar eleven point ninety nine. Dollar twenty point ninety nine. Tamago Dollar five ninety nine Dollar eight ninety nine Tamaki Handler Dollar four point ninety nine Dollar six point ninety nine. Select the text box. Hold down Alt and press down arrow several times to make the leading space match the left foot illustrations. With the text box selected, select the window, type, tabs menu, or press the shortcut key, Shift Ctrl T. A tabs panel sized to the width of the selected text box is displayed at the top of the text box. If the tabs panel is located away from the top of the selected text box, you can manually move the tabs panel to the top of the text box. There are four tab alignment icons on the left side of the tabs panel. Clicking left to justify the tab aligns the text to the left. Clicking center justify the tab aligns the text to the center. Clicking right justify the tab aligns the text to the right. 
Clicking decimal justified tab is a good option for numbers that use decimal points because the characters are aligned by the end of the decimal point. Since the price on the menu is dollars using decimals, with the text box selected, click Decimal Justified tab. In the tabs panel, click the 5cm, 11cm, and 16cm points on the ruler to add tabs. Click and drag a tab on 5cm to remove it. If you accidentally added a tab to the ruler as you just saw, you can simply remove it by selecting the tab and dragging it out. One thing to keep in mind when using the tabs panel is that when you add a tab with the text box selected, all the text in the text box is placed under the control of the tab that is set. And if you add a tab with the mouse cursor inserted, you can control only the space of the text where the cursor is inserted. Click in front of each price, then press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the location where the tabs were added. Press V to select the selection tool, and then select the text box. Click each tab to move it left and right, and you see that all the text in the text box is under the control of the tab. Click the first tab in the ruler of the tabs panel. The position of the first tab is displayed in X. Type 12.5 cm here. Then, Press Enter to move the tab position. Click on the second tab. Type X 17cm and press Enter to move it. Click the first tab. Click Leader. Press Period on the keyboard. And then press Enter. You will see a dot line added between the food name and the first price. To add a space between the dot line and the price, click each at the end of the dot line, and then press the space bar once. In the upper right corner of the tabs panel, click the panel menu button. You can easily remove all tabs at once by choosing clear all tabs. After selecting the Edit tab, select Repeat tab to create the same tab repeatedly. After selecting a tab and selecting Delete tab, only the selected tab can be deleted. When you select the Snap to Unit, a check mark is displayed on the right side of the menu. If you move the tab while Snap to Unit is checked, you can easily move to a specific position by snapping like a magnet to each unit of the ruler. Move the tabs panel to another location. In the tabs panel, drag the bottom right to make the ruler smaller or longer. When you click the position panel above text icon, the length is automatically adjusted to the width of the selected text box and moved above the text box. If this doesn't work, you can manually move the tabs panel to the top of the text box. In the tabs panel, click the X icon to close the panel. Now, let's create a calendar using the tabs panel. Select the Type tool. Then click and drag to draw a text box. Press delete to delete the auto-generated text. In the control panel, select font Media Pro. 
font style regular, type font size 30 point, and then press enter. In the text box, type the same letters and numbers as shown in the calendar on the left. At this time, you have to press spacebar only once between the letter and the letter. Select the text box, hold down Alt, and press down arrow several times to make the living space appropriately wide. With the text box selected, press the shortcut key Shift Ctrl T to display the tabs panel at the top of the text box. With the text box selected, Click the Center Justify the Tab icon in the Tabs panel, and click to add tabs at 1 cm, 3 cm, 5 cm, 7 cm, 9 cm, 11 cm, and 13 cm respectively. Click in front of each letter and number, then press the Tab key on your keyboard to move to the position where the tab was added. Highlight the dates in the first row. In the control panel, select the font style semi-bold. After highlighting the first S, select red in the swatches panel. Highlight 4, 11, 18, and 25 respectively, and select the same red in the swatches panel. After highlighting the last S, select blue in the swatches panel. Highlight 3, 10, 17, 24, and 31 respectively, and select the same blue in the swatches panel. After selecting the text box, adjust the bounding box corners to eliminate unnecessary space. In the control panel, click Horizontal Align Center to align horizontally. With the text box selected, press Ctrl C to copy. Click on the next artboard and press Shift Ctrl V to paste it in the same place. The pasted text box is already tapped, so you can easily create a 12 month calendar. Highlight each number to change the number and the color.
A nice calendar created using the tabs panel is completed. When you press the space bar between word and word to adjust the space one by one, it takes a lot of time and it is difficult to work because the spaces do not fit together depending on the type of letters. However, as you have seen, using the tabs panel is very efficient because you can freely add and control the space of the text. The tabs panel is the same in InDesign, an editorial program. Try to design menu and calendar using the tabs panel. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching Professor Dr. Grace's illustrator lecture. Please watch the next video in order to follow all the courses without skipping a lesson. To keep learning and master illustrator, please press the subscribe and the like buttons.